Hey guys, welcome back yet again for another another match of this a Ghost Gym. I'm at 5 win streak. One of my first 5 games. If you've been following, you would have seen them all. Um, the majority of them are pretty, pretty good games. One or two uh, easy ones, which I've been happy to take. I must say they don't always come, and I'll be happy when they do. So, looking here for my fifth and hoping I can just continue just a solid effort and I'd love a first invincible trophy um, anyway dual opponent rounds let's do this spam D oh no alright fellow X-Clan member Steel and Phantom um, alright so I know this guy can play he's hit 4k um, He's a great player, that Cobra is going to cause me to have some trouble. I can see that happening. Um, Gengar coming out. So, because he's coming out on that side, it gives me a safe defense right here. Does he have Mega Gengar? No. No Mega Gengar, so I don't have to worry about a Mega Gengar coming out. So I'm going to just leave that there, and we'll come back to that. I'm going to get my Coco up so my Zapdos can take out his Gengar. Um, if I'm rolling gold, and then we're just going to keep on piling in. So what I'm going to do, what does this guy, little guy do? What does he do? Details. Uh, MP move through, yes. Um, attach a Brandon marker to burn Pokemon that this one moves through. So he's going to be looking to burn things with Sableye and hit this guy. And just move through me, get the burn marker. Um, so what I'm going to do is send out my big one on the right side. And hopefully he's going to send something out to counter it. Um, He's probably going to be checking in Discord and talking to me right about now. But I'll find that later. And I'll have a little chat to him after the game. So, let's see what we can do uh, with him now. Hopefully he doesn't disconnect. I would feel bad if he disconnects. But I'm sure he'll just be talking to me in Discord. Um, so, he's sending out the Sableye. And what I'm going to do is... Get out my get out my who do I want to get out? Probably Gengar. Zapdos. I want to get out Zapdos because Zapdos can take out this little thing if he feels like taking the entry off me. And then I'll get Gengar out. So not taking any anything, he's now defended his goal. So, what I'm going to do, does he have a switch? No, oh, he's got a scoop up. So, I don't want to be dropping my... My Gengar too prematurely. So, what I'm going to do now is... Ooh, ooh, this is a difficult one. I want to go up here and attack it. See if I can't take it out. Get white on white. Boom, I'll take that. I am burnt, but Mega Gengar should be able to fix that. So I'm guessing Cobra is going to be coming out next and heading towards his Sableye, going for that sandwich action. Yep. But what I'm going to do is attack him. If I can attack him and take him out right now, this could be game. I need my white. Boom. Mega Gengar is going to come next turn, next to that Sableye, and he's going to be in trouble. Um, that's the thing I love about Chandelure. Chandelure is a beast. Um, but now, I need to get myself into a good position to... What do I want to do? I just want to start blocking things off. So I'm going to leave those little sable eyes there for now. And potentially now, 
I'm going to potentially drop my spirit in. Try and curse his Mega Gengar. Phantom energy going down. Alright, I understand that. So I'm just going to drop my... Get this guy cursed. Ooh, didn't work for me. It did not work for me at all. So if I can get rid of that, his Gengar, I can make him... I can punish him. Like, really, really punish him. Looking for damage on damage here. If I get damage on damage, this could be game over for him. Oh, got the burn, and I can't do anything about that. So, what I am going to do now is... I'm going to Mega Gengar. No, I don't, because you can just 1, 2, 3. Do I want to... I want to risk this and attack. I want to look for my damage on his damage. Oh, that was so close to being horribly wrong. Um, now he's got to go back and defend. So that's all right. And what I'm going to do is try and take out his Gengar. I want to take this thing out. Oh, oh, don't take it out of Gengar by doing that with a zap. Zap not wanting to perform for me. So, nothing I can do there. I am I'm stuck with these Sable Lights. I need to get my Zap Lace up to them. I should have saved my Zap Lace for that. Steel Energy going down. He's looking to do the extra damage. And I'm just going to start moving up with my with my little Spiritomb. I want to get my Spiritomb up onto those Sable Eyes. And see if I can't do some nasty things to it. So actually my Spiritomb is going to come towards his, his Mons. Block off that Heatran. And see how we can go. If I can get gold on that Heatran, that will be amazing. But that is not going to happen, so I'm going to take this time and max revive my zap, get my zap up next to his um, sable eyes and try and take him out. That's what I'm going to be trying right now. And see if I can't do this. He's a fast player, he's so ahead on time. And that's a good trait of a good player. Ooh, burnt. He's not going to be sticking around for very long, but what I'm going to do is go up against the Sable Eye and double chance next turn. Double chance, take out a fat Sable Eye, and then that could be game. If I can pull it off. Does he have a max revive? He does, and he's going to use it. Cobra. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to go for it now. I need to go for it now. Yes. Double chance. Give me that gold. <clears throat> and then I need my Gengar to be hitting his white next turn. There we go. There we go, Zapdos. Give me that gold. Give that gold to me. So his max revive is now burnt. Um, he's got to attack Gengar probably with Cobra and win. So if he goes his gold on my white or my purple on his white or his dodge. Oh, Mega Gengar. Wow. Wow. I was not expecting that. So what I'm going to do now is I take this hope for my gold again. Oh, roost. Roosting, like a roosty roost roost. Um, what else does he have? He's got long throw and counter attack. So, going to go for the attack. So, looking for that white on white. Or, boom. I'll take that. 
Oh no, I won't. I won't get anything from that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my phantom onto the goal, and then next turn, hopefully attack Gengar and take him out. Get that gold, not of steel wing. Oh, I can't even do that. So I need that gold again. Gold, come on, get that gold from me, at this. There we go. And now he's got to attack with something and beat Zapdos. And if he dodges, if he goes purple, if he goes, yeah, he's got to win this next matchup or else he's lost. Um, which is easy. His Gengar out damages me, his Cobra out damages me. So hopefully he gets a dodge. Dodge or gold is what I want him to get. Or my me to get roost. Oh man, so close but so far, so what I'm going to do now, I've got to try and cycle some things out, let's see if I can't curse this, looking for my purple on his white, oh not going to happen, um, just want to try and curse some ones now, man he's good, he's doing well, he's defending, and doing everything he should. Have I burnt all my max revives and things? Yes. So I've got count. Why do I have counter attack? I don't use counter attack. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm gonna take that out next turn. Oh, that would have been the 90 as well. It's 80. So Mega Gengar, we're gonna come back out. I still haven't used my Mega Gengar. Going to use him to a, a hassle that goal. So just going to move straight out here, and I'm going to take my Gengar. My Gengar beats all of his ones at the top, and I'm going to try and make that worthwhile. He's ever a scoop up? No, he doesn't have a scoop up. No scoop up. So. I want to just go out for an attack. Get that white on white is what I want. If I get white, then oh, give him the white. <coughs> so his mods are now on white. I'd love to get a white when if all of his mods were together. Oh, is he gonna attack? No, he's not. So what I'm gonna also do is try and cycle through this one. If I can get that knockout, get that gold white. Yes. Yes. If only he was still on white. Now he needs to come through, attack me and win. Um, I'm doing 120 damage as well, so I need to roll my white. Roll my white or my blue or... Yeah, something like that. White or blue is what I need. Here we go. Good game, Spandy. Um, dark right, what? And activatability. Knock out a Pokemon that has a branded marker. That one. That one. No! I've got to knock myself out. That is crazy. No, oh, I've got to do it. There's no, no end ability, so that sucks. That sucks. Completely sucks. Wow, Phantom Energy Gengarite. I'm just gonna go and Gengar, hope for some white on white action. Come on, Gengar. Ah. Ah. <laughs> That's a shame. I'm just gonna lead on up with my Zapdos. So I'm not gonna surround that little Lampert. Ah, I can't believe that I got. <laughs> I had to knock myself out. That sucks. So I'm just going to head on up and try and take him out. If he takes out my Coco, I'm going to be in trouble. And I'm going to have to defend. So what's he going to go after? Zapdos. I hope Zapdos just rolls gold constantly now. Um, Zapdos does. Thank you, Zapdos. I needed that. Move on up with my Zapdos. Um, that's a pretty good Mon, 
and I can't wait to try and get one and use it with my chandelier. He's winning on time, so he's going to just go for that. He's smart enough to do that, so I'll just go after him. White on white. Ooh, don't miss. And now that I've missed, now I can go after his other... His other save lies. So he's going to go after my Coco, so I can't take out his Gengar with my Zap. Melee Melee was happening, and, and Zapdos, come on, do the work for me. Take out his Sable Line, come on, give me that gold. Whew, so close, so close to that 50. Here we go. One more to take out. Actually, I can potentially shut and not lock him down for a little bit. And that could be good for me. Long throw. Ah, oh, Smart. But I'm going to try and take this out. White on white. Ah, oh, man. Misses. Two in a row. That's a killer. That's a killer. Alright. Time to try and curse him again. And get something removed. So I'm gonna go after that Heatran. Heatran is first and then and then go after his Gengar after that. No, no, get cursed, please. So he's gonna be a speed defensive, I think. Man, that game, if I lose because of getting a branded marker, that's gonna suck. It really is gonna suck. Um, let's see what else can we do here. He's gonna just go for the tech now, so at least he's not just straight defending. Melee, melee, wish. Who can I give three MP spirit to? <laughs> that could actually be scary for him. Do I try and attack this guy? Probably not. I'm just gonna move on up and go for Gengar. Go for Gengar. Um, I've still got my Phantom Energy. Alright, so he's moving over so he can't get taken out by gold, but I still want to get that uh, Destiny Bond. Destiny Bond was what I want. So if Coco can go... Ooh! He's coming after me. He doesn't want that up against him. So I want my gold on his purple. Ah, oh, not the other way around. No. So now I've got to do something crazy. Um, swap spot phantom. Mm. No, none of this is going to be good for me. Um, what is my best chance? Probably taking out Sableye. Either my white on his gold or my gold on his purple. Oh, not that. A confused... A confused um, Coco is a no good Coco. And I've lost on time now. Just lost myself on time. Oh, and he's not even going for it. Wow. So, where can I reach? Nowhere. I've got a swap spot, counter attack. I've got nothing I can use. I've got to hope for some damage on damage. I needed to go gold. I needed to go gold and me go white. Nah, again. And that's my streak ended. Thanks to Span D. And thanks to this the worst kind of ability that makes you knock out yourself. Those kind of abilities suck. That does suck. So Coco can suicide himself. Let's go out in style. If it wasn't for that branded token and him having to knock himself out, I would have won and I lost and I lost. Um, counter attack definitely needs to be replaced. I didn't even realize I still had it in here. And that could have been a double chance. And that would have, could have, man, the, the possibilities. 
and there goes my streak. So no, no um, invisibilities for me. Let's pop this open and see what we get. I know someone on their first one popped open uh, Lugia straight away and my game's frozen. So I'm not going anywhere. I want to go get myself some sleep. Spandy, good game if you watch this. Great opponent, completely respect uh, what you did. Amazing moves, sending those long throw Cobra. Great player. So I'm happy to lose to a great player and happy to have a great game. I just wish that stupid Shandalua ability was not, uh, you have to knock yourself out. <laughs> But there we have it. That's how it rolled out, and there's the end of my streak. So I'm gonna probably restart my game, see if I've got anything good. If I do, I'll definitely let you guys know. But if not, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll eat some of that humble pie. Thanks to Spandy. So see you all later.